Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to stay here continually. If you want to see what's going on in the mind, you have to stay here. You can't just check in every now and then. Because sometimes the cause of suffering comes up in the mind, and the result is immediate. And other times it takes a while. So for those times when it takes a while, you have to be here all the time. Otherwise the mind plays connect the dots. Little dot here, little dot there. And you can draw lines anywhere from one dot to another. But whether they actually correspond to the real connections, there's no guarantee. But if you're here watching, then you watch the lines as they form. The mind gives rise to an unskillful state, and you watch it until, yes, it does cause suffering. If it gives rise to a skillful state, you don't just let it stay there and pass away. As the Buddha says, mindfulness as a governing principle means that if there's something that's good that hasn't arisen in the mind, you try to give rise to it. And once it's there, you try to develop it. You don't just watch the passing show. Because the show isn't passing, you're actually creating the show. And you want to be able to see that. Most of us live our lives watching a puppet show, not realizing that we're manipulating the puppets. Thinking that other people are. And then we get angry at other people. But we're the ones who place suffering on our minds. No matter what other people do outside, think of the Arahants, no matter what happens, they don't suffer. And they're the ones who see things rightly. So if you see that this person is causing you trouble or that person is causing you trouble, they may be misbehaving, but the trouble in your mind comes from within your own mind. So that's what you had to look for. And there are a lot of those connections inside that you don't like to see, which is why concentration is so important. Places the mind right here, continually right here. Of course, concentration needs to be supported by mindfulness and alertness. This way you get to see what's going on. And then you can trace the trouble back to inside. And then you're in a position where you can do something about it. If the trouble comes from outside, or if it came from outside, what would you do? You'd have to go out and change the whole world. In the meantime, you die. Never be done. But when things happen inside, you can get them done. So what the Buddha is saying is, he's not trying to lay blame on you for suffering, but he's saying it's within your power not to suffer. When you're thinking that way, then it's a lot easier to stick with the practice. Because you're showing yourself the power that you have. 